Hey everyone, welcome back to another interesting video. In this video, we are going to solve a very interesting question in which we have to show that 2 raised to 70 plus 3 raised to 70 is divisible by 13. Now, if you look at these numbers, 2 raised to 70, 3 raised to 70, these are very big numbers, right? Even calculating these numbers by using calculator is also very difficult, right? We cannot do it 2 raised to 70 and then 3 raised to 70 and add them and show that the number is divisible by 30, right? So, we have to use a mathematical trick, right? So, what is the trick? We can write this 2 raised to 70 plus 3 raised to 70 as now what is 70? It is 2 times 35, right? So, 2 times 35 plus 3 raised to 2 times 35, right? And we can write this as, now these are exponents, right? So, we can take, we can write this as 2 raised to 2, it's raised to 35, then 3 raised to 2 raised to 35, right? And this is just equal to 4 raised to 35 plus 9 raised to 35, right? Now, this number is in the form a raised to n plus b raised to n, right? Where this a is 4 and b is 9. Now, if we can write this a raised to n plus b raised to n as a plus b times something, then we are done, right? Because a plus b is 4 plus 9, which is 13, right? And that means this is just equal to 13 times something. That means 13 is a factor of this number. And hence, this number is divisible by 13. But there are some conditions on n, right? We cannot write this step for all n because there are some conditions on n so let's try to explore them now suppose we have n is equal to 2 then a square plus b square is equal to a minus ib times a plus ib right where this i is a complex number square root minus 1 now here if you observe this then we cannot get a plus b as a factor of a square plus b square right that means what for n is equal to 2 we cannot write this step right now take n is equal to 3 that means we have a cube plus b cube now what is the formula for this it is just equal to a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square right now we can write this a cube plus b cube as a plus b times something right that means what a plus b is a factor of this number, right? That means a cube plus b cube is divisible by a plus b, right? So for n is equal to 3, this holds, right? This formula holds. Now you might be getting some idea. In fact, there is a generalization for these results. If n is e1, then a plus b is not the factor of a raised to m plus b raised to n. That means a raised to n plus b raised to n is not divisible by a plus b whenever that n is even. And if that n is odd, then we have a general formula for a raised to n plus b raised to n. And let me write that formula here. a raised to n plus b raised to n is a plus b times a raised to n minus 1 minus a raised to n minus 2 times b plus a raised to n minus 3 times b square and go on doing like this minus b raised to n minus 1. So whenever you are, so this is for n is odd number. That means what this a plus b is a factor of a raised to n plus b raised to n, right? That means this number a raised to n plus b raised to n is divisible by a plus b. Now, let's use this formula here. So, here n is odd, right? 35. And we can write this as 4 plus 9 a plus b times this something, right? And this means what? This is equal to 13 
times something that means this number 4 raised to 35 plus 9 raised to 35 is divisible by 13 right which is exactly equal to 2 raised to 70 plus 3 raised to 70 is divisible by 13 and hence the proof i hope you find this solution interesting thank you for watching this video